5 steps to build a future-proof CV Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I help you navigate your career and stand out in a competitive job market. Today, I'm going to walk you through a 5 step to build a future-proof CV and one that will stay relevant and get noticed by recruiters no matter how the job market changes. So if you're tired and constantly updating your resume every year, stick around. I've got some practical tips for you. So let's dive right in. Step 1. Highlight skills that matter most for the future. It's no longer about listing every single skills you've learned. Focus on the skills that will be most valuable in the next 5 to 10 years. For example, if you're in marketing, data analytics, and SEO are demand right now. And those skills will continue to evolve. Make sure those are front and center on your CV. For example, instead of listing generic skills like team player or detailed oriented, try including proficient in Google Analytics, HubSpot, and data-driven marketing in strategies. Just to let you know, recruiters want to see that you're ahead of the curve and that your skills align with future trends. Step two, focus on results, not just responsibilities. One of the biggest mistakes people make is listing job duties instead of highlighting their accomplishments. Employers want to see how you made an impact, not just what your job was. You have to talk about the results that you've achieved in your previous roles. Like for example, instead of saying responsible for managing social media accounts, say increase social media engagement by 30% through targeted campaigns. It's all about showing how you've added value to the companies you've worked for. Step 3. Tailor your resume for each industry. A one-size-fits-all resume doesn't cut it anymore. You need to adjust your CV based on the industry that you're applying for. Different sectors have different priorities. So you'll want to customize your resume to highlight the relevant experience and skills for those specific roles. For example, if you're applying for a position in education, you might want to highlight skills like lesson planning or student engagement strategies. Whereas for a corporate job, you'd emphasize project management or process improvement. Tailoring your resume makes it easier for recruiters to see why you're a great fit for their specific needs. And step number four, add new certifications and achievements regularly. Gone are the days when you could rely on your degree alone. Constant learning and upskilling are essentials to staying positive. Adding new certifications, whether it's a short online course or a professional qualification, that shows you're committed to grow. For example, let's say you took a course in digital marketing on Coursera or earned a project management certification. Include that in your CV that shows that you're staying current. Even small achievements like leading to a new initiatives or receiving recognitions at work can be added to keep your CV fresh. Step number five, optimize your resume for ATS system. Many companies now use Applicant Tracking System or ATS to fill the resumes before a human even sees them. To beat the boots, you need to optimize your resume by using relevant keywords from the job description. This way, the system can easily identify that you're a match for the role. For example, if the job listing mentioned project management and budget forecasting, be sure to include those extra terms in your resume. Please avoid fancy formatting as it can confuse the system and stick to clear, simple layouts. So there you have it, 5 steps to build a future-proof CV that will help you stand out in today's ever-changing job market. Don't wait for the next time you're job hunting to make these changes. Start today and make sure your CV is working for you, not against you. And before you go, take a few minutes to review your resume today. Implement at least one of these steps right now and let me know in the comments which step you're focusing on first. And of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and share this with someone who could use these tips too. See you in my next video.